Where the fuck is this helicopter? At least it's part. Oh, uh, yeah. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? FPS Mayo. Today, we're going to be talking about everything coming to Water Warfare in the next couple of days. And we're going to find these heli hackers for the love of. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel today. Today, we have something pretty cool that I'm excited to talk about, and that's what's going to be upcoming in the next couple of days in Modern Warfare, particularly on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on the West Coast. Let's get into it. So, we know that there's going to be a playlist update coming, and we're going to start talking about that. But if you are not interested in the playlist update, then you just want to see these hackers that we came across in Warzone, which is absolutely hilarious. And I'm splitting up this video. We're going to talk about both of them. You can tune into the video uh, at 3 minutes and 57 seconds to see my original suspicion about these hackers. And then you can tune into the video again at 8 minutes and 55 seconds where things really start heating up with these hackers and shit gets really weird. Let's get into it. So, we know last week the update was the mid-season update and we got a variety of new things including Gunsmith Customs, the new Master Camo, a whole bunch of new stuff <clears throat> including Shoot the Ship which was super amazing, but now we're talking about what's coming after that. Uh, I don't know and we know that that update was absolutely huge. It was like a total of 30 gigabytes I believe on console. On PS4 the first update was 10 gigabytes and then the second one was 18. It was mind-blowingly huge and I have no idea why because all we got was camo and the ability to gunsmith our weapons how we should have been able to do it the whole time. So I don't really know what that was about, but I have a suspicion that we're gonna talk about. So Modern Warfare Activision Infinity Ward, they did something that they haven't really done before, yeah, and so funny. at the beginning of the seasons, they give us a roadmap. They tell us what's coming, new operators, new guns, new maps, new modes, etc. But they came out with a roadmap reloaded, which is weird, kind of, because they've never done this before. But it does say what we'll be getting in the future. So, in this past weekend, we had the triple-double event, in which we get double XP, double weapon XP, and double tier progression. Um, so that's over now, but what they do say is that we're going to be getting gunfight knives only, which seems like bad writing to me. It seems lazy. Should this not be called knife fight? I don't know. If I wanted to fight with knives, I'd play knife fight, not gunfight. I don't want to fight with knives. This mode seems pretty self-explanatory to me, and I will not be playing this mode. Thank you, Joe Seacott. Now, I want to quickscope. I want to slay some squads who think they have a chance. Not this. Just not this. Not knife fight. Next, they say that we're going to be getting... Demolition, which I am hyped for, and let oh, me know down in the comments if you guys are hyped for too. Demolition, because this was one of my favorite game modes, and I'm thinking you guys probably like it too. So, this game was originally I added thought, to the COD franchise that. in 2017 on February okay. 3rd, and it was Two only playable in yeah, private yeah. matches at that time. Since then, this fan favorite map has uh, appeared in most, mm. if not all, COD titles where it has finally come full circle into yeah, Modern Warfare 2019. For those of you who don't know, Demolition is very similar to Search and Destroy. Both the game modes kind of have uh, one team aiming to destroy a bomb site, where the other team aims to defend them from being destroyed. Now, Demolition differs from Search and Destroy in a few ways. One of the main differences is that the, is the addition of respawns in Demolition. The other player may respawn as many times as they need. Um, as well as this, each attacker has a bomb as soon as they spawn and after respawning, which is pretty cool. Other differences, kind of, um, there's a maximum of three rounds per game and the overall score limit of two. So there's three rounds to get two round wins. Both bomb sites must be destroyed within the given time limit, two and a half minutes usually. Um, if they destroy it, there's an additional two and a half minutes are added to destroy the second one. If any of these limits are reached, the defenders win the round. Now, this game mode is absolutely fantastic, and I'm super excited for the return of this yeah, mode. Yeah. Um, it was one of my favorite game modes. Now, drop a like if it was one of your favorite game modes as well. I'm assuming the next one is going to be Gun Game Reloaded. Now, I'm assuming this is Gun Game with just new guns added, um, or maybe Blueprint Gun Game, um, as we've seen, similar to Gunfight Blueprints, which is pretty cool because those guns actually melt and they're not just crappy setups. So, I'm kind of I don't play Gun Game too much. Let me know in the comments if you guys play Gun Game or if you like Gun Game, because I know a lot of people do love that game mode, and you could be one of them. But that's what I'm thinking that that is going to be. Now, 
We can also assume that there's going to be some changes made to the Yo, Battle Royale, as data miners have found many Love new that. temporary modes in the data files. My, I don't know what the heck those guys do, I, it's way above my pay grade, but there has been a variety of new modes which you can find on Dexerto or Charlie Intel or on the Gaming Revolution uh, Call of Duty. Took one out. Personally, I don't really care about all these temporary modes. I want duos and map away. updates. That's it. That's it. Make some snowfall. Make back. some leaves Polar. brown, yellow. Dude. I don't care. Nice. I don't want that. I want duos and map updates. But hey, that's what we get. Enough complaining. I also have a theory about the last Call of Duty update size. It was 30 gigabytes. And we know from data mining that These sometimes we, the developers yeah. don't just put into the game what is right there for us to see. They put things in the game. Oh, there's another guy um, in right the. There too. Going this way. They put things in the game early so that they can just essentially flip a switch and have it be available in game oh, already. So that's making me think that um, they put some things in the game that are in, going to be there that won't require an update in the future. So maybe some future patch notes. I doubt that. They normally roll patch notes out right when they get them done or cluster them together. But what I'm thinking is that they included maybe Hard Hat or Isle 9, these maps that are going to be a bit larger in size than your standard um playlist update for instance so i think that they put these in and i'm not uh confirming that we're going to see hard hat or aisle nine this week or next i really don't know but i do think that some of yeah, these bigger changes are already so in the files let me know down in the comments yeah. if you guys are excited for this update or now let's get into these freaking heli hackers this shit was bananas we could so yeah, we can instead play cover of me on the talking of these buildings and too. taking away like from the actual from gameplay, I'm just gonna sign off. I'm not gonna be here anymore. But I would recommend watching from here on out or skipping forward to the final circle if you do yeah, want to see it. I'd rather that you watch the full video because it really oh, helps the one. channel out. But if you just want to see the hacks, then go to the end of this video. It's absolutely insane. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. The channel has been doing great lately and that's all thanks to you guys. So if you like this video at any point, then drop a like. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do turn notifications on and you can see when I'm posting all the time. I'm posting almost every day, every few days for sure. Thanks again so much. FPS Mayo out. And if you've made it this far in the video, I got a little treat for Yo, you potentially. Let me know your favorite thing Love about that. Modern Warfare 2019 down in the comments or your favorite class setup that you like to use in Warzone and in multiplayer. And you could be eligible to win one of the latest merch things that I have to sell. And it's a sweater, FPS Mayo branded sweater, American apparel. I will Took ship it to you for free, no cost. Whoever gets it this far could win just that sweater. That okay. Probably zipping out the back. Oh, there is. There's two. Nice. Fucking... <laughs> He's pretty oh, damn weak. So lucky, yeah. Man. Oh, there's another guy right there, too. Going this way. Oh, they just hit a res. Oh, I fell off! Fuck me! I'll come back in, I'll go back in. Bro, where is that helicopter? Are they just sitting up in the sky? I don't see nobody. They're fucking invisible. Glitched. They're shooting right here. What the fuck? Are they in the ground? Yeah, they're underground right now. Lol. Okay. Well, well they'll probably no get help? stuck in the gas. Yeah. What? Oh, they're just choking on it right now. Dude, what? What is going on? <laughs> what the fuck? You gotta Boys. get tight to the middle. Get tight to the middle. Yeah. Oh my god, does anyone have stims? No. Ugh. I'm gonna throw a grenade in there, see if it hits them. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Third. <laughs> what is going on? Bro. 
<laughs> Let's go, baby! We better win. Seriously, what the fuck is this? <laughs> one of them's dead, one of them died. Oh! One left. Let's go! Yeah, baby! Let's go! What the hell? <laughs>